topic that's come up a lot recently is server-side rendering. Yeah. And it's a hot, hot topic. topic. Hot topic, lots of nuance, lots of opinions mm -hmm. around it. Yeah, 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 lots of feelings. What is server-side rendering? Uh, in a nutshell, server-side rendering is, and, and this is particularly important for like uh, JavaScript heavy, like client-side apps. You take your application and you sort of like, you can think of it almost like you, you pre-boot it up on the server. So you, you stamp out all the DOM nodes, you get everything kind of in place. You have your CSS in place, so it paints really fast, and you send all that down to the client, and you get a really nice, fast first paint, right? Because everything's just already there in the document. Right, but it comes with a cost, Indeed. right? If you're server-side rendering something, it's gonna potentially improve a few metrics, mm -hmm. like potentially first paint, yep. first meaningful paint, mm -hmm. first contentful paint, um, how quickly people get text on the screen. Mm -hmm. But it also comes at the cost of you shipping down a much larger payload mm -hmm. of HTML yeah, to your users. Mm -hmm. And that can have the impact of pushing out everything else, mm -hmm. including your JavaScript. Yep. So you get this like really fast first paint showing people it. something on the screen, you can see it, but then you can't necessarily interact with it. It's no. like, you know, you end up on a shopping page, it renders really quickly, and then you, uh, you start tapping on buttons. Yeah. And unless everything is like end-to-end -end server side rendered, the user might have bits of the experience that are not necessarily complete or ready. Yeah. And so I've, off. I've experienced this recently. I was uh, I was driving through the woods and was on a way slower mobile connection than I usually am. And yeah, I, I landed on a page and I I knew it was server rendered because I was I was like I can't click on any of this and I know exactly yeah. why. Yeah. And it it can be frustrating. Yeah, it can be. I mean, there there for for different um, you know verticals maybe server side rendering makes sense. Totally. You know, if I'm a publisher, I might care more like really heavily about making sure that the article text can yeah. be seen pretty early on. Yeah. But people, people use server-side rendering for lots of different reasons. Mm -hmm. So some people will use it to optimize those metrics. Other people will do it because they're trying to make sure the Googlebot yeah. and search crawlers yep. can see their content. Especially because not not all crawlers can run JavaScript. Yeah. So so uh, we've said like Google has said that you know uh, the crawler can understand JavaScript to some extent, mm -hmm. and um, that's that's great and everything. What I what I recommend if folks are unsure uh, is to go check out the Webmaster Tools. There's mm -hmm. like a, a little tool there, right? That fetches lets you Google. fetches Google. Yep. That lets you render your page the same yep. way that the Googlebot would. Mm -hmm. And we now know that that's powered by Chrome, Chrome 41. 41. Yeah. Uh, we've got some docs on that now. Yeah, can leave them down in the, the show notes. Yeah, we'll, we'll link them up in the magic boxes. Mm -hmm. um, and that's great, but you should, you should check that out. See if it's actually busted in any way. And, yeah. You know, before. It can be surprising because you're like, oh, it runs JavaScript, so I'm just gonna assume it runs like latest JavaScript. Yeah, um, yeah. And that is not always the case. No, no, yeah. Chrome 41 came out a while back, yeah, exactly. right? It's, it's probably old enough to drive at this point. Yeah. <laughs> um, and so there, there are definitely times when, you know, I, I forget to include polyfills yep. for, you know, for search crawlers. Like you sometimes need to, you know, even polyfill things like promises depending mm -hmm. on the crawler. Uh, so people sh should just be careful, yeah. right? Uh, I think actually in the article you mentioned, there are even uh, some debugging tips because you do fetch as Google and you might just see like a blank page and it's hard to know then, okay, well, what's missing, right? Is my application actually broken? Or like you're saying, am I missing a polyfill? And so there are some tips in there, how you can kind of debug that and figure out, you know, which is it. I've totally been bitten by this before. I was missing a, a web animations polyfill once and I was just like, I guess like this whole thing's just broken. Yeah. And then was able to debug it and I was like, oh, I just need to include this one file. Yeah. yeah. So it, it may not be quite as mm -hmm. complex and broken right. as, as folks think. Um, there are some, Possible ideals. I know that you know when some people are, are thinking about building mobile websites, progressive web apps. You know, we'll we'll tell them that the you know architecture pattern of choice is the application shell because mm -hmm. you can easily cache pieces of your UI that don't need to be fetched from the network on repeat yep. visits, uh, improves your performance and so on. Um, but then they're like, well, yeah, but I kind of need to server side render my content too mm -hmm. because I may be tested and server side rendering is improving my SEO and it starts yeah. to get a little bit complicated. I mean, one one possible balance you could find there is use your architecture of choice for your performance architecture of choice for um, your normal users and then conditionally serve the server side rendered version to you know Googlebot mm -hmm. or other search crawlers. Yeah, do a little a little UA sniffing maybe. Little I, I didn't say that. Yeah, I didn't it's, say that. Well, actually, I did say that. <laughs> it's okay. Matt said that. Matt said that. Matt said there it. There we go. So folks should be, you know, there's there's a lot of nuance to this problem. Um, we're not talking about it in terms of performance. I know that yeah. everyone's going to have different things that they care about. Just yep. be, you know, take a holistic look 
at server-side rendering and where, you know, where there are trade-offs, where, you know, maybe just using it for SEO over other things might make sense. Um, and just, you know, use your tools. Measure. Exactly, yeah. Tools, tools not rules, tools, right? Tools, not rules. That's what, the, that's what the, the smart kids say. Yeah. No. Is there a sign-off of some sort you have for this episode? It's totally time for the end of the episode now. Thanks for watching. Totally Tool and Tips.